Are you looking at your blood tests and finding elevated MCV levels? What does MCV actually mean and what's causing your elevated MCV levels? My name is Dr. Taranella, and in this video, we're going to look at what does it mean if your MCV blood tests are high. We're going to look at some of the causes behind this, what levels on your MCV tests might be significant, and some other things surrounding the MCV that are important to understand when you're trying to get this number under control. Again, my name is Dr. Taranella, and if you're new to this channel, I just want you to know that I make these videos to help you go beyond the basics of your health, whether it's a confusing lab test, symptom diagnosis, or just trying to understand a specific topic better, I make these videos to help you get that better understanding of what's going on. So if you like this kind of information on nutrition, health, hormones, just generally understanding what's going on inside your body, click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this one. Now for a quick disclaimer, the information contained in this video is for informational purposes only. It's not intended as treatment for any medical condition or a substitute for seeing an actual doctor or medical professional. It should be used as an educational guide to deepen your understanding of your own health and treatment success. If medical attention is needed, don't delay in seeking that attention. All right, let's look at this topic on what does it mean if your MCB blood test is high? What does it mean if your MCB blood test is high? Well, first of all, MCV stands for mean corpuscular volume, MCV. And it's a blood test that's looking at the relative size of the red blood cells or the average size of the red blood cells or erythrocytes. If it's larger than normal or outside the reference range, it's called macrocytosis. So MCV is a measurement of the relative volume or size of the red blood cells, and a red blood cell is referred to as a corpuscle, so MCV mean corpuscular volume. It's typically reported in units of femtoliters, or FL, and the range that's typically given is going to be somewhere around 85 to 100, with optimal going to be somewhere around 90 or a little bit higher if, as it gets above 93. That could be more of an indicator of a problem with DNA production in particular. So an elevated MCV outside of the normal range is called macrocytosis, which can have several underlying causes. The most commonly associated with this is called megaloblastic anemia, and that just means you have really large red blood cells, and because that's going on, it leads to not enough red blood cells overall, and that's where the anemia comes from. So let's break this down a little bit more. So megaloblastic anemia is characterized by impaired DNA synthesis, and it results in larger than normal red blood cells. The most common cause for this is deficiency in B12 or folate. These are essential nutrients needed for normal red blood cell maturation. And that's because these nutrients are needed for DNA production. And that DNA production is needed for normal maturation of the red blood cells. So sometimes these deficiencies are due to not enough consumption of those vitamins, folate and B12. Sometimes it's for genetic reasons. For example, if you have MTHFR mutation or other single nucleotide polymorphisms in folate metabolism or B12 utilization, that could lead to some of these problems. And other times it's from increased excretion of these vitamins. And a lot of times it's just a combination of all the above. So a classic example of this combination is with chronic alcohol consumption. So with chronic alcohol consumption, you're basically commonly going to see on your CBC macrocytosis. Now, it's not always going to lead to megaloblastic anemia or rank elevations outside the reference range. But generally speaking, if you're consuming alcohol on a daily basis, you're going to have a MCV that's on that higher side of one. Why is that? Well, alcohol can interfere with folate metabolism, utilization, and excretion, as well as the same for B12. And the result is a impairment in the production and full maturation of those red blood cells. So more of them are getting released in that larger stage. So in terms of what does it mean when you have elevated MCV blood tests, it means that a lot of your cells are being released in that larger stage. Now, of course, 
B12 and folate deficiency aren't the only reasons, but a lot of the other reasons are going to be connected to that in some way, but not every reason. So some other reasons that are connected are certain medications that interfere with B12 and folate utilization. And then, of course, there's other types of anemia that can affect this, bone marrow disorders, which, of course, can lead to anemia as well. And then liver disease can also cause this in some instances. So it's important to note on this topic that an elevated MCV alone does not provide a specific diagnosis and doesn't tell us for sure that is a problem for you. Most of the time when you initially spot this, it means further testing and understanding of what's going on with B vitamins, bone marrow, and other things related to this are going to be needed. Sometimes it'll just be high on one test. The next test you do, it looks normal. But of course, some of the blood tests that you're going to want to follow up on are things like B12 and folate to verify if this is or isn't an issue. Now, one thing that I have noted in my practice people that do consume alcohol on a regular basis and have this chronic elevated MCV, supplementing with folate and B12 doesn't seem to correct the problem. So there seems to be something with the alcohol that's interfering with the utilization of those B vitamins in some ways. Of course, there could be other things going on with these individuals as well, maybe genetic problems inherent with them. These are all kind of things to keep in mind when you're looking at the elevated MCV. Because there's multiple things going on with this, it's important to consult with your healthcare provider when you have an elevated MCV or high MCV, because they're going to help you navigate what's important and what's not. And also, more importantly, help you get to the bottom of what's causing, or if you even need to worry about it. So how do I do? Does that help you better understand what it means when your MCV blood tests are high? Hopefully it does. If you do have follow-up questions on this, drop it in the comment section. may do a separate video on that topic, I'll definitely try and answer your question.